Okay, so as you guys seen the first few pictures, we are doing a recreation of the Mrs. Universe 2018 dress. And um, my client, she pretty much wanted to look like she was on fire. Well, initially she wanted the lava like the Mrs. Um, Universe pageant, but we had to work within her budget. And this is the best fabric that we found. So... I unfortunately gave all of my patterns to um, one of my assistants who's helping me cut the patterns out. Um, so I had to do this by scratch since I did not have the multi-panel pattern on hand. But I had the top of it, which I used to create the initial pattern. So I just used that and I went from there. Right now I am laying a second layer of fabric on top. So that I can cut it out once. And then I'll have four pieces of the side panels. to cutting the panels from scratch I take the side panel of the skirt I'm trying to make sure it's centered first so once I have everything centered I'm going to make a diagonal from the bottom of that panel to each corner of the fabric so that it kind of creates a triangle also at the end I'll be cutting the go day out of the leftover scrap fabric
so as you can see i've sketched out initially i measured her waist to where i wanted um to make sure she had enough coverage in the bust area and this is the design of the dress so i drew on the pattern paper which is this is the same paper i use for all my patterns this is the regular bodice i mean i have multiple ones so i'm just gonna cut this one up so um i want it to meet i used the multi-panel skirt again so i want it to meet at that point where um this leg with the seam is going to be because that's where we're going to have a split so i want this to attach to that seam so i had to try like two or three times to get it drawn right this one went really well so we're going to bring that around like that and then i want to make sure she has enough coverage and it, it mimics the sh design so we're going to go here come all the way around and come down and meet here i didn't want this gap to be too wide because i did i want her to be able to get in the prom <laughs> All right. Okay, so this is the next step that I'm taking. So the, again, this dress is from, my client sent me the, the idea from a Miss Universe dress. So of course they, the Miss Universe dress, I'll put a picture or a video of that dress. But of course, um, we can't make that dress without a ton of crystals. And that price is pretty high for prom. And, you know, I was working with her budget, so I told her what I could do within her budget. So we're pretty much trying to make these flames look like they're on fire. <laughs> so we're going to be using the Alini's Original Clear Tacky Glue. And some orange glitter. And I got both of these from Joann's. And what I'm doing here is... I'm pretty much just outlining some of the flames and some of the shapes and then putting the glitter. So I've done this about six times already. So this is the last time that I'm doing it and I'm doing it so that you guys can see. Okay, so I don't want it everywhere. I told her that it will gradually come up and it's some on the top and it will gradually come down to the waist. So I'm just outlining some of the shapes. And then we got these big pictures here. I just do a whole lot of stuff. A whole lot. And I'm not going up too high, but high enough. that's all of the glue that I'm going to use right now so I'm going to take my glitter and I'm going to outline it first so that I don't get a ton of it all over the floor so I'm doing an outline looking for the glue spots Okay, looks like everything is outlined here. So now we're just gonna go all over and just put glue everywhere. I mean glitter. I just want to make sure it's all covered. Okay, so now you want to remove all of the glitter off of the fabric easily. So 
I've been using this magazine to scoop them up and kind of comb them back into the jar. I did that six times for all six panels on the multi-panel skirt and when I attach the whole dress together I'll fill in some spaces and see where we're going from there so this is what it looks like super sparkly and pretty looks like we got some flames on fire Okay, so here's the bottom of the dress. I tried to put on my mannequin, but my client's way smaller and this fabric does not stretch, so I can't get it on a mannequin. <laughs> okay, now here's the piece that I cut yesterday, so it looks like it's together as a puzzle right now. I could have just used a, a new bodice piece, but uh, this works fine. So I put it back together like a puzzle and now you see that I have it on tool. This is not stretch mesh. She's very particular about how sheer she wants the top of the dress to be. So it's not my preference, but this is a tool. So I'm gonna cut the front and back out on tool and then I'm gonna glue our top pieces. Glue or stitch, I'm not really sure yet which, but I'll see. So put the top pieces on there, put the top together and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm not sure if you can see it, but here's the mesh, and here are the top pieces. So, Now I gotta figure out how to get this thing on here. Let's start by pinning.
this is the back part and in the back she wants an illusion that flames are floating on her back so we're gonna um and of course the tool will be semi um uh, unnoticeable for the most part um so we're gonna put some decorations of some flames so that it looks it gives off that effect um let me pull the picture up so maybe you guys can see i'll insert another picture of the dress but that's what that looks like Here's a better picture. Okay. 